Thanks for tuning in guys. So the main secret to making your wig lay flat might sound a bit self-explanatory and obvious but it's really what your hair looks like underneath or how your hair is prepared underneath. Um, it sounds pretty obvious but I know some people who literally just tie their hair in a ponytail underneath and then just put the wig on top and then they're wondering why their hair is bumpy. So the best way to keep your wig laying flat is to do a very very flat braided foundation underneath which is what I'm doing here. So what I do is I cornrow the hair all going back apart from where the parting will be. Um, you'll see what I mean when I get up to that bit. And what I tend to do is I do quite, well these cane rows are quite medium sized but that's because her hair is quite thin. The thicker the hair is the smaller the and thinner the cane row should be. So because her hair is quite thin I'm doing them small to medium sized. I also swap sides as I cornrow so you won't see me doing them one after the other. You'll see me constantly switching sides. And the reason for this is because I want an equal amount of cane rows on both sides. Some people can do it one after the other and still have an equal amount. But for me, I noticed that if I do it that way, then either the corners might be a bit slanted or they'll be more on one side than the other. And it won't look good when we get to the parting because she's doing a middle parting. Okay, what you guys will notice is that once I get about midway of this cornrow, I'm going to take the plait from the other cornrow and conjoin them to make one plait. And the reason for this is that if you have several plaits, naturally the hair's going to end up being very bulky, especially at the back. But if there's one remaining plait left, then the hair won't be bulky and it will lay flat in general. <laughs> mentioned before she's having a middle part in and for this I'm using my scissors technique which I've mentioned and used like a thousand times in some of my other videos but they're not only just useful for crochet they're also useful for wigs as well and you also really need to make sure that the line of your part in is the same position that your closure line will be as well so that it falls quite naturally <laughs> 